Today is Ash Wednesday and we just got our ashes on our forehead. There's no light in your face. I can do a verbal recount of my day. I'm just gonna tell you, Jeremy and I visited Father for marriage preparation. And I'm very glad to say our compatibility has increased. This is the second time we take the test because Jeremy had left for interviews for a few months. He had gone back to Peru. Father also left on vacation for a month. So we had a retake. We realized we've become more attuned to each other to where we could skip over sections of the test. The areas that before would have um, represented areas of possible conflict. We had opposing views. We're a lot more in tune this time. So there were, there were actually a couple sections that we could totally just skip over because we did so well. And I feel like it has to do with the fact that we're seeing each other more often and can understand how, how we've discussed things. Like we both uh, have shared our points of view and maybe we've agreed on certain things. Um, anyway, we made a follow-up appointment, so we're going back there soon. I definitely encourage everyone who's seeking to get married do some kind of pre-marriage test um, it really does help you identify the areas in which you have more differences and helps you work through them i know that our catholic church uses focus f-o-c-c-u-s it's a pre-marriage inventory as they call it it gives you a profile of your relationship its strengths and challenges inquire about it you can't go wrong with that's it. what we did and then later on we went and visited melissa and Brittany, but Brittany was not home so we we just hang out with melissa for a little bit and Afterwards, we went to see Joyce and Ariana, and we had a really nice night. Ariana went to sleep, and Joyce, Jeremy, and I watched a movie, an action movie. And I think that's about it. I wanted to share, should I call it facts? I don't want to call it facts. Just, I wanted to share some stuff about Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is something that not only Catholics celebrate, Anglicans, Episcopalians, Lutherans, United Methodists, and other liturgical Protestants partake in receiving the ashes. People recognize the ashes as a symbol of our mortality. As read from Genesis 3.19, For dust you are, and to dust you shall return. This is what is said while the ashes are applied in the shape of a cross on the forehead. These are usually applied at the end of the Mass. Ash Wednesday is a day for fasting and abstinence. It is a day for reset, do things differently. It's like a wake-up call. It's the first day of those 40 days where we pick something to take on or maybe give up to show in our own way how we love God more than anything else in the world. Now, if you're wondering where the ashes come from, these are obtained from the branches used in the previous year's Palm Sunday services, which commemorates Jesus' entrance into Jerusalem and precedes his passion and sacrifice of love. Well, that's all for today. I will see you soon.